everyone, Cash here, back with another video from Madden 16. Today we continue our franchise with the Oakland Raiders, and we have a week three matchup against the Denver Broncos at home. But before we get there, we're going to check out some scouting. Had some comments in the previous video suggesting we show a little bit more of the scouting this year, and I agree. I think that is something that we should keep track of throughout the year. I was more or less just getting used to the scouting in last season. I actually didn't pay a whole lot of attention to many of the guys until late in the year. So kind of knowing how this past year went, how the draft went, I think this is better set up here as we kind of get into more of these players and kind of really decide what ones we need to go after the draft. So as you saw, we go through the first round of prospects. Where I start with them, I just kind of pay attention to the scheme because that's very important and kind of just thinking about what positions that we're going to be interested in, in the end, at the end of the year. So left tackle is one I'm going to start with. We see a couple of left tackles here at the top. So basically every week I'm just going to find five or six people we're going to spend or as many as we can get with the points that we have each week. We'll see what they come out as. We'll try and scout as many guys as we can and then we'll start to focus towards the end of the season at putting some of them on our watch list and really identifying ones that we want to go at. So on top of left tackles we're going to look at some tight ends as well just in case I see a couple that are some scheme fits. D-tackle is one position I think that we may have to address in the offseason. We did get the rookie this past season who is starting, but we do have some older guys. Dan Williams is an older guy. Maybe we have to replace him. And then corner, you can never have too many corners, especially with how many sort of issues we've had with our past defense this season. Sean Smith, we did sign, but he was just a one-year contract, so we're going to keep looking at some corners. We'll look at another D-tackle here. As So far, no one's really impressed too much. The rating's pretty eh, pretty okay, but it looks like we have enough points to scout one more player. We're going to go with one more left tackle. This one, B-plus block, pass block, that's not too bad. B-minus run block, he is a late second rounder. Although, so doesn't exactly fulfill his potential. But that's it for scouting in week three. We'll keep doing that every week. But now into the game. We're at home in our new stadium. And we're taking on the Broncos. Derek Carr has had a very nice start to his season. Eight touchdowns, two interceptions. And we start this one. We're midway through the first quarter. Carr dropping back to throw is going to find Amari Cooper for the first down. This offense has been very good the first two weeks of the season. But the teams we have played against haven't exactly been top class. So the Broncos a very good defense. We'll see how this goes. But look at this second and seven. Carr gets sacked, fumbles the ball. Fortunately, Webb jumps on it. So it's not going to be third and 15. Rivera going in motion. Play action to Murray. And Carr's going to go downfield. And this one hit up in the air, nearly intercepted. We were looking for Harvin there, but that one may be a little bit too tight. And now as the Broncos come out, you see their quarterback here. Last episode I mentioned Brock Osweiler would be the QB, but he is hurt, I think. So Kellen Moore, former third stringer of the Lions, current third stringer, I believe. No, he got cut by the Cowboys. So not even on a team. He's going to be the starting quarterback, and he's having a very nice year. Seven touchdowns, I think that said. No interceptions. On third and two here, he's going to connect with Emmanuel Sanders for the first down as the Broncos moving the ball here on this drive. Last two minutes of the first quarter, more shotgun going to go play action here. Looking downfield, flag on the play. What's it going to be? Pass is incomplete anyways, but it is going to be holding on the Broncos. So they are backed way up. I think they even throw in a false start penalty here as well. So third and 25 more dropping back, going deep, but this one going to be way too hard. So you see Moore has some issues throwing downfield. We'll keep that in mind as he has started this one just two of seven. But as the Raiders take the ball back over now, Murray with the carry going to take the counter, bounces it outside, will be taken out just short of the first down at the 40. He's got 29 yards rushing to start the day. We now enter the second quarter as it's first and 10. Carr going to throw across the middle, and he is going to find Percy Harvin as he's across the 50 to the 39-yard line. Carr just three of seven to start this one, 45 yards, a defensive battle so far. Second and 10 now across the middle, a nice little floater pass there to Cooper who catches it in stride, and he is down at the 18 Setting up a second and 10 play action here. Carr looking, has some pressure, cannot get it away in time. No, we had somebody, but Von Miller, the speedy linebacker, comes flying in there. So third and a mile now. We're going to go with the halfback screen, but they have snuffed this one out quickly. And we lose three yards, so out for the field goal. 47 yards from Zerline, should have enough. The wind is in our face, though, and it's off the crossbar. 11 mile per hour wins. Zerline, an absolute foot on him, but it was not enough unfortunately so it's still a scoreless game in the Broncos the ball CJ Anderson the running back out wide is going to catch that one as Moore now has 38 yards passing second and 10 here the handoff to Monte Ball he's still on the Broncos and he's picking up a first down there 10 yards on that carry so now we move ahead here third and six Moore looking can he continue the drive no he can't that pass nearly intercepted going to be knocked down 
by TJ Carey, and the Broncos will get the first points on the board with a field goal. So now 3 nothing. your score, 420 remaining in the first half. Harvin going to catch that quick pass, setting up a second down play. Now actually third and five from the 25. Carr looking, throwing, going to find Rivera, but immediately tackled. And this offense is struggling mightily today. The Broncos defense stepping up. As now the Broncos offense with the ball, 3.20 to go. First and 10 from the 48. They already crossed the 50. That pass completed. Going to be to Owen Daniels, the tight end for the first down as he's down inside the 25. Now third and five from the 18. Moore making an adjustment. Going to take the snap looking. Has a receiver open, but not going to throw it to him. He just kind of throws that one out of bounds as he's struggling. Five of 13, but the Broncos now with a six-point lead. Final two minutes of this first half, Michael Crabtree, and this is what we need. Spin move, misses the defender, and he's going to be tackled at the 50. Big pick up there from Michael Crabtree as it's now first and 10 here from the 50. 128 and counting to go in the first half. Carr going to throw, finds his tight end, Rivera, who is having a nice first half here as Carr looking to be improving here in this offense, moving the ball finally. First and 10, halfback screen, Murray with it, going to look for a seam. Cannot find one. Spin move, though, going to avoid the tacklers. Picks up a couple extra yards here. That's now second and three. Carr going to throw again. This one across the middle has his receiver, but Percy Harvin cannot go up and get it. Looks like he was a little scared of the safety coming down on him and kind of alligator arm that one. But now third down. We're going to find Harvin for the first down, but a flag on the play, and it's going to be holding on the offense as we shoot ourselves in the foot here. Jamarcus Webb, 10-yard penalty, so we are going to be backed up now third and 13. From the 34, Carr needs to get some yards here to put us in field goal range. He is going to find Harvard, but we cannot separate from the defender. We're tackled immediately. Broncos call the timeout, so out for another 47-yarder, 11-mile-per-hour field goal. we got to hit this one perfect, and we miss hit it, and it's off the crossbar again. You've got to be kidding me. So instead of a 6-6 game going into the half, it's 6 to nothing. and the Broncos with very good field position here after the missed field goal from the 44, first and 10. The pass to Cody Latimer going to be completed. He breaks off one tackle, gets the first down. The Broncos call their second timeout of the half. One remaining for them, 17 seconds. Moore going to throw, finds a receiver across the middle. Emmanuel Sanders down just outside the 20. That will put them in field goal range. And they are out for the field goal here. It's up, and it is good. So it'll be a 9-0 game heading into the half. Do not remember the last time we were shut out in the first half of a game. And take a look at the stats here. It has been a rough one for us in that first half. 113 passing. But the Broncos, 81 yards rushing. No turnovers for either team, which is good to see. But that scoreboard, not something we like to see. It should be a 9-6 game if we can make some field goals. But the Broncos are going to get the ball here to start the second half. C.J. Anderson having a very good game, up to 73 yards rushing. As the Broncos now second and two from the 49. Another handoff to Anderson. Going to cut it outside. Has some room. C.J. Anderson down the sideline, running out of gas, so it looks. But he is down to the 22. That is going to put him at 100 yards rushing. And we're just a couple minutes into the third quarter. More now, though. Third and 10. Scrambling away. Going to throw it. But the accuracy on the move not there. And that one's incomplete. And the Broncos going to kick another field goal. So it's now 12 to nothing. Raiders need to score here. Roberts on second and 15. Going to pick up a first down. As Carr now 171 yards passing. First and 10 now. As we're into the fourth quarter here. Not much happening in the rest of that third quarter. So now the... Urgency is on us a little bit as Murray going to take that one as he's down 52 yards. First and 10 from the 43. Carr dropping back, standing in the pocket, looking, going to throw, going to find his tight end, Rivera, and he is going to get down to the 36-yard line. So now second and three, Murray in motion. Carr going to throw, going to look for his tight end over the top, but does not see the other guy there. It's tipped into Marcus Ware with the interception. And we shoot ourselves in the foot once again. The first turnover of the game for either team. And it is a bad one. It is now third and ten. The pass complete to Demarius Thomas. And Thomas doing what he does best. Just making separation. Getting downfield. A huge pick up there for the Broncos. As it's now second and ten. Seven minutes to go in the game. And we have... Really few hopes here as this has been an awful game for us. Now third and four from the 49. We need a stop. Kellen Moore back looking. And he's going to throw along the sideline and he's going to complete it. Demarius Thomas, unbelievable catch there to continue the Broncos drive. And they will cut off a lot more time from the clock. C.J. Anderson, first and 10 up the middle. Another first down as this defense today. The past two games, it's been the pass defense, but today it's everybody. As now second and three from the five-yard line, Kellen Moore will throw. 
and he's going to be sacked. There we go. About time we get some big plays on defense. Now third and ten. We just need to stop here. Can still keep this as a two-possession game. As the pass completed at the end of the tackle is there, but he's going to shake it off, and he picks up the first down. you got to be kidding me here, guys, as they are down to the one. But we've backed him up five yards. It's now third and goal from the six. We have got to get a stop here. No touchdown, and we will get to stop Monte Ball with the carry, but we are going to stop him quickly. So the Broncos, another field goal. So 15 to nothing. If we can score quickly, we have a shot at this one. Carr just going to take off here up the middle, sliding down at the 37. No huddle. We have no timeouts left. As Carr, first and 10, going to throw here, and he's going to find Rivera, his tight end once again. He has been a solid option all game for us. As it's down first and 10, one minute to go and counting. Carr looking, going to throw, and it's going to be Rivera again. Can you get in the end zone? No, not quite. Down at the four. So here we go, no huddle once again, first and goal now from the four. We're down under 40 seconds, making one last second adjustment. Carr going to throw, and he's going to find Amare Cooper for the touchdown. That is what we needed. Finally some points, but sadly they come with just a half minute to go in the game. So onside kick, this is the game, and it's going to be easily recovered from Emmanuel Sanders. A poor onside kick attempt, and the Broncos are going to win this one 15 to nothing. A defensive battle. We don't crack their defense until late in the game, and you see the domination there. 133 on the ground for the Broncos, just 66 yards rushing for us in that game. Poor, poor performance from us. You see the stats here. Very close for the QBs, 217, 216 in the air. One touchdown for Carr, but the interception as well, as that maybe cost us the game. C.J. Anderson, 23 for 107. Latavius Murray, 8 for 52. Not great numbers there from him. Didn't get a lot of opportunities. That is 6.5 yards per carry, but we just had to abandon the run pretty quick. Thomas goes for 104. Rivera goes for 83 on 6 receptions. Crabtree with that one very nice long reception. Reggie Nelson on defense so much. He gets 14 tackles. You see many Raiders there at the top of that tackles list. Tackles for loss. Lofton, Blake, Ray get 2 apiece. 2 sacks for Von Miller. 1 for Adrian Claiborne. DJ Hayden does pick up a sack as well. And then the interception from DeMarcus Ware. Our player of the game, week two MVP. I forgot to actually include this, but we're going to give it to Michael Rivera. You've seen him there. Six for 83. He was the one bright spot in this game. He gets the week two MVP. Let me know in the comments down below who you feel was the week two MVP. I'm not really sure who else we could have given it to besides him, as that was just kind of an all around poor performance there. But you're not going to win them all. We lose our first game of the season. We sit at two and one. And next up, it's another divisional game in week four. The one and two Chiefs are going to be visiting us. So we'll see that game next time. But that is going to be it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.